replacing this light, uh, the fan. I don't know if you can hear it making noise. It squeaks, sometimes it doesn't work. It's been like that since we moved into the house. Uh, I wanted to get up close and give you a good shot. I have, I have two head mounts and a hat mount for the GoPro and I can't find any of the three of those. So I'll, try, I'll do this as well as I can. Uh, I don't want it to be two miles away. Sometimes I do these things and they're like a mile away. So let's see what I can do. All right, first I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take this down. I'm gonna take the fan out. I'm gonna get a replacement, hopefully a replacement motor. So let's see if I could stick this up on here. So, and, and make it stay there. Let's see, Gorilla Pod. See if you're worth you the money I paid for you. I'm just gonna yank it down. So the first thing you do is you squeeze these two. You pull this down and you squeeze these two metal prongs. I should get this, kick them out. Let's see. Sometimes like now it's stuck, but we'll get it out. There we go. All right, so that's this, out. Take the bulb out. Then we've got this, I don't know, let me look back. This little, this, this little metal thing is holding on this fixture. So we'll take this off. I'll take it off. So I'm just gonna unscrew it. And again, you should probably test to make sure the power is truly out. I know from testing this in the past, there's no power when you cut the switch. So just gotta make sure somebody doesn't come in and turn the switch on. All right. So this is what holds, this little thing is what holds this on. So now let's get this down. All right. And it's hanging by, let's see if I can, I'll take this off and show you. There's actually a power cord in there, two plugs, all right? So one plug is for the fan and one is for the motor. The fan, um, this one's a light, that's the fan. So let's get this light out of here. Right, like this. Then there's a screw right there. It's a quarter inch screw. Now let's see how lucky we get here. All right, got it. All right, this one happens to be magnetic, which is not a bad idea. So got that off. Now this whole thing should pull right out. It should pull down like so. And out. All right, that's it. All right, so that's what it looks like up there. All right, I'm gonna check the wiring to make sure that it's wired properly. And it is, and it was. I can get access to the attic. I went up there and I checked it from the attic. All right, so what I did prior was I actually popped this little thing off. If you get something, if you have like something for a car that you would take trim off, Pop this off. Get, I got you take this whole thing out. And then you can unscrew one, two, and the motor comes off. Watch like this. One. Without dropping these down the drain. That's one. Two. Now, I oiled the motor. I cleaned everything. There's the ground. Don't lose, there's a couple of uh, washers. And then the mounting bracket should come off. Make sure you remember which way this was oriented. This plug was towards where the outlet is, going under it, all right? Because it mounts upside down. And this metal thing is what that goes through. All right, so I'm gonna pull this off. Now, my suggestion is before you go buying something, you give it a try to clean the motor. All right, so that's the mount. Now this says New Tone Scoville for use with models 8814, 8663, and 8673. All right, this, like I said, after you pull that off, this pops out. I already tried oiling this. So I tried oiling it, I tried cleaning it, and it worked for about four or five days, and then it stopped working again. So. What I did was I went to supplyhouse.com. I'll put a link if you're interested. And I ordered what I think is one, two, like the whole thing that's just gonna fit back up in there. So 
we'll see what happens. It's coming today, and hopefully it's just a swap. If it's not, first thing I was looking for was the motor. Actually, the motor has the motor has a um, a what? There's like a serial number on it, model number, serial number. So the serial number for this particular model was J A two. C is in Charlie, true 71, G is in good, and then the pound sign. So I actually put that into Google or Yahoo, whatever, and it came up with aftermarket motors, but the best solution for me was getting the whole thing. I mean, it's, it's OEM, it's made by Newtone, I believe, and it's coming today, supplyhouse.com, surprisingly, they have everything. <laughs> I didn't think they'd have this, but let's see, it was 40 bucks. I was gonna change out the whole fixture, but as you can see, there's a giant hole in the ceiling and it's just easier to replace the motor. So we'll see what happens when it comes later today. So we'll see you then. And there it is from supplyhouse.com, my go-to company. I have no idea exactly what's gonna be in here, but we'll see in a second. I hope I have an 8663RP. Or else I'm gonna have to send this back which is not that easy anymore because they moved the headquarters of Supply House from my from Long Island, kind of like Ohio. All right. Ah, it's an entire, it's a whole thing. Look at how nice. I was not expecting the whole thing like this. All right. It's the whole unit. It's, it's this, this, this all right so hopefully i'm just gonna fit it in and it's gonna work it fits it fits. Let's screw this in. All right, so let's so we can do the rest of this with one hand. So it fits up in there. Let's plug it in. The light's on, so it should go on. works. All right, so let me turn the light off. That was good. All right, so let's see if I get the fixture to fit. I think that's it. All right, so it's up there, fans up there, and it's done. Thanks for watching.